Depth today is 10 inches. Wow, mm. that's uh, and a lot Dulles of is, Yeah, it's helping. D Dulles had about 29 inches. There's snow depth today, 25. So we've melted off uh, between uh, four and six, maybe even eight inches in a few spots. Uh, and that was very much helped by that temperature today, getting up to 51 degrees. Let me show you that, and we'll talk about some showers that are moving through right now. Don't worry, they're liquid showers. Our temperature at Reagan and Dulles at 51, BWI 52 degrees, and we're still pretty mild. We're still actually 51 degrees here in the district, and even though the sun has gone down we're not going to get much more melting there is definitely some slush and some liquid out there and so your first question is all right so now are we in for an icy refreeze tomorrow morning likely not we don't think it gets that cold overnight so maybe some patchy ice but not a wide or hard refreeze most places are going to be at or above 32 tonight which is a good thing because we have some showers moving through right now. These have been increasing in the last uh, hour or so, uh, moving up from southwest toward the northeast. So you're going to see these moving inside the beltway if you haven't already had a couple of sprinkles. They're not very heavy, uh, and we are not finding uh, much mixing at this point. So we'll keep our temperature around 42 at 7 o'clock, and I'll tell you, maybe we even bump it up a little bit since it's still 51 degrees right now. By 9 o'clock, about 39. There will be some showers passing through by 11 o'clock, 37. But again, not expecting to dip below freezing, certainly not here in the city at 34. Hey, we'll look up toward Hagerstown where you might drop to 31. Maybe, just maybe, uh, there's a little bit of patchy ice up in those areas. But the by and large, fog might be a bigger issue tonight. We're going to be keeping an eye on fog as our frontal boundary comes through later tonight. We could see a little bit of that. The showers should end early tomorrow, but because of that front moving through, it will be a colder day. So we are headlining that and again, watching for the possibility of a few more showers uh, through about 11 o'clock, maybe even into the first part of uh, early tomorrow morning as these pass on down to the south. We'll let you know what morning we suspect could be a little bit problematic on the roads, not from anything new, but because of that refreezing cycle that's coming your way and a look at a warmer weekend in just a few minutes. Sean and Tony. Thank you very much, Sue. Neighbors in Arlington are demanding answers tonight after a towing company towed away several cars parked in private lots. Frustrated residents say they have no other place to park their vehicles because their entire neighborhood is covered with snow. Fox 5's Ronica Cleary has more. Imagine coming home after a weekend away excited that you missed the blizzard, only to find that this is the current situation at your street. Well, that's exactly what happened to Will Kirkman, an Arlington resident, when he realized there would be no way for him to park here. He decided to park down the street in a store parking lot, only to find that his car was towed by 6 a.m. this morning. We're in the middle of my street that's, uh, <laughs> that's covered in a couple feet of snow. Clearly, no plows have come through since the storm. And when Will got home last night, he didn't know where he could park. Now, he decided to park in a nearby store parking lot. And he admits that he did see the signs that warned those who were not customers that they would be towed for parking in the lot. But considering the situation of the streets in Arlington after the storm, he never expected to find his car towed this morning. This morning, we went to move the car. It was about 6 a.m. and it wasn't there. We just, uh, couldn't believe that they would be towing, you know, because there's literally nowhere else to park. I reached out to Advanced Towing about the incident and they explained to me that the shopping center had snow removal equipment dropped off that evening and the snow removal could not be completed with the cars in place. The company acknowledged that they are sympathetic to the frustrations of being towed, but were simply completing the job they were hired to do. And Will explained it's not really about blame, but he does feel extremely frustrated with a situation that has left him feeling like he has no parking options. I don't necessarily blame anybody, but it's just, you know, it just leaves you frustrated. Will had to pay $135 to get his car back after it was towed. But what can you do when you are in a situation like this? Let's talk about it on Facebook and Twitter. For Fox 5 Local News in Arlington, I'm Ronica Cleary. Well, still ahead at 6 tonight, thieves hit a business that has been closed due to the snow. And this was no smash and grab. We'll explain why police think this was a well-planned out crime. And are you sick and tired of being snowed in? We want to hear your frustrations. Keep tweeting us. Breezy F sent us a picture right there. Aw, looks like these guys have a little cabin fever looking to get out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's another picture. Neighbors got impatient with the snow plow, so they plowed the entire street by themselves. Guess that means I have to go to work tomorrow. Yay me. Hashtag Fox 5 dig out. Oh my goodness. Take a look at this. Northgate Apartments don't want to clean off the snow and people cannot get out of their cars or their sidewalks. Mm. We want you to keep sending us your pictures like this. 
of you trying to dig out of this mess using that hashtag Fox 5 dig out and we will continue to share them again tweet them to us at Fox 5 DC or post them on our Facebook page we want to see what's going on where you live we'll be right back Fox tonight, new girl has a hostile takeover. So you're just running a hotel now? It's a boutique hotel, yes. Check out who's checking in. Who do we give our laundry to? This is all underpants. Her, her, them, and him. Hi, Nick. Hi, Schmidt. Mm -mm. New girl, all new tonight, followed by grandfathered on Fox. Go beyond the ordinary with striking design. Go beyond innovation with available intuitive touchpad technology. Go beyond utility with the Lexus NX Turbo and Hybrid. Once driven, there's no going back. Lease the 2016 NX 200 Turbo for $369 a month for 36 months. See your Lexus dealer. For the Girl Scout meeting. Okay. For the soccer team. At Giant, prices are down, savings are up, which makes the checkout lane victory lane. My Giant. And pack your pantry this week with San Giorgio pasta for 69 cents and Purdue boneless chicken breasts, buy one, get one free. Honda knows just because you're looking for a utility vehicle doesn't mean you're looking for adventure. But sometimes, adventure finds you. That's why these vehicles have available all-wheel drive to help you tackle the road outside with interiors to keep you comfortable inside. It's more than just utility. It's modern utility. Nothing compares to a Honda. KBB.com's best value brand. Next on TMZ, B.O.B. Science Beep and Lamar's moving next to Chloe. Elise is in her name. A very poor decision. Does he just constantly prank calls her with pizza? <laughs> Well, that blizzard of 2016 did not stop thieves from breaking into a handful of businesses in Capitol Heights over the weekend. They hit a strip mall on Addison Road South. Some store owners told us the thieves broke through walls and in some cases even the ceilings to get into the businesses. They stole items and caused plenty of damage. One of the hardest hit shops was a tobacco store. When I was opening the door, so they was um, like uh, trying to cut the lock from outside, but they didn't succeed it. After that, they came back and they broke the wall next door. It's a next door. And they came in that, uh, like uh, there is a next door is a, uh, sc a driving school, like, you know, and they broke that and they broke this wall, then they get inside. Wow. In addition to stealing tobacco products, the thieves also stole cash from an ATM. The store owner says thieves got away with nearly $2,000 worth of merchandise. Still ahead at 6, could a beard help keep you safe from superbugs? I, you uh, might have to grow one after uh, this time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll explain why researchers think men with facial hair are less likely to carry a drug-resistant bacteria. Plus, you pay thousands of dollars a year in tuition, but students want to spend class time texting. A new survey is revealing how much learning time college students spend distracted by their phone.